Into a reading, we are going to look into how the person on your mind is currently feeling and thinking about you. Ooh, we have healing. Allow light to enter your womb. That came out really fast. Um, so right off the bat, the song I got on Shuffle was Plastic Hearts by Miley Cyrus. I do feel like there's some kind of superficial emptiness that this person's currently feeling like in regards to their own life. So it's almost like, I feel like this person's like reflecting on themselves and how they maybe have a tendency to be superficial. And then it's like, they get stuck in superficial situations. And I feel like this person's really bored. This person's really bored. It's like black hole conversations, um, love you now, but not tomorrow. And I feel like this, it, like they just feel kind of unfulfilled. So they might be going through some kind of healing where they're reflecting on like how they might have created this in their life. Oh, we have dream build castles in the sky. Yeah, there's a lot of like healing energy. This person's like very in the ethers right now in like some kind of void. They might be meditating. We have create, nurture your creative energy. Oh, interesting. This person's definitely, I don't know if you're, this is somebody who's like a creative or they have some kind of creative process, but they're definitely, um, they're like in the void. If you've ever read Stephen Pressfield's The War of Art, it talks about how like, you know, everything's, all the great books have already been written. All the symphonies, like Beethoven, the symphony was already written. He just had to tap into that void and pull it down, like transmute it kind of what's going on with this person right now they're in some kind of void and they're like creating from there what's happening let's see how like what's going on with your person let's tap into that your hard work is paying off so they might be focused on like some kind of getting ahead it's time to release negativity full moon and scorpio let's go one more and emotions are running high um, so there's going to be like a transmutation of energy with this person. The emotions running high, I feel like they feel like they're feeling very emotional in a setting full of people who don't care, who don't care about their emotions. Um, your dreams need a practical plan. Yeah, see, they're trying to like channel. This person is like currently trying to channel something. Um, channel something into existence here. And a lot of the negativity they're releasing has to do with their environment because they're realizing that their environment was like there to keep them safe from all of this, but it's not really doing that. It's just making them feel a little bit empty. Let's see what's going on with this person. Saturn truth. So they're maturing. They have, they are also like stepping into a more position of authority we have Sagittarius I see interesting so very philosopher energy going on here and we have fifth house creativity they're definitely in the process of creating something if this is like a musician they're creating like an album um, south node life steps karmic release of maybe friends people around them they're starting to see the truth they're starting to develop awareness they're developing like an awareness and they're really like, they're there's something that this person is channeling big time. Let's see, how does this person currently feel about you? The Ace of Crystals. Um, new beginnings, solid opportunities. What does this person feel about you? Some of you, they're gonna give you a gift, a big gift. The Seven of Swords. Um, how does this person feel about you? The King of Pentacles. And then the Eight of Swords. This is so interesting to me because it's like, they're, they're really, when it comes to how they feel about you, they're, they feel stuck. They feel stuck. They feel like you're out of viewpoint. I don't know. They feel like they are not, there's something about you that they can't see or that they're not allowing themselves to see. 
but they get these like momentary breakthroughs. Um, and I really feel like this is almost having to do with they couldn't see themselves to this depth, so they couldn't see you. You know that saying, like, you can only meet people as deeply as you've met yourself? So there's this, like, when they, oh my god, you guys, who is this person? <laughs> this person's, like, going through some kind of, like, deep, like, I, I get that this person could be meditating more, so I don't know if they're, like, um doing yoga class there's something specific around like this person's meditating more they're sitting with themselves they're gaining self-awareness and because of gaining self-awareness is they catch these like glimpses of you but like you on a deeper level than than just you superficial you um but then they kind of go back you know it's like like they have these flashes. Um, they have these like moments where it's like, yes. And then they go back and they're like, wait, no. <laughs> How does this person feel about you? The, the hangman. Their perspective is changing on you. What's it changing into? The Seven of Cups, I'm telling you, this person, like, when they go into med, like, when they're in meditation or when they're, like, creating, because I do feel like either this person's, like, literally sitting and meditating or they're creating, they're, like, doing something creative, like, maybe they're writing or journaling or painting, and when they go into that space, that's where they see you or they have this awareness of you, and they like it, but they don't understand it, okay? Um, what is it that they see about you? The Three of Swords. Ooh, the Knight of Swords. I think they're, they realize um, they don't like it because it's like they see themselves. Oh, that's, that's harsh. That's harsh. Uh, so it's scary to them. It's really scary. <laughs> Cause like, because they're gaining this self-awareness, it's, oh, I feel for this person. They're having some kind of like awakening or dark night of the soul because they're going through this process. And it's like, the more that they, like they might now see you as like pure, but then if they, subscribe to that narrative it means that i i'm the i'm the problem or i'm the denominator here so then they like immediately want to take themselves out of that but they're like trying to push through and they're trying to like under it's like they're healing this person's healing what is this gift that they want to give you the seven of wands like they're they're pushing whatever this the discomfort is that comes up they do push through it um they're fighting through it and it's like um they're fighting through it because they want to they don't want to have fe bad feelings you know they want to heal they're like the can of worms has been opened all right what is what is this person currently creating the Three of Wands. Uh, they're kind of manifesting here. The Two of Cups. Um, their ideal partnership. I feel like they're trying to manifest their ideal partnership and like the love that they want. And a lot of that has to do with you. But it's also forcing them to confront like the ways that they fall short. You know? The ways that they haven't been that ideal person. What actions does this person want to take towards you? The world card. The king of wands. What actions does this person want to take towards you? The queen of wands. Whoa. They definitely want to create with you. The ace of wands. Oh my god. Some of you, this person wants to like make a baby. That could be literal. That could be non-literal. Like the baby might be like they want to create something with you. 
but like King of Wands, Queen of Wands, and the Ace of Wands, listen, <laughs> that, that, that lays out a scene for me, all right? I don't know about y'all. With the world here, and then the Four of Swords, that lays out a scene. So it's almost like they could be taking this creative thing, like what I'm saying, like pull something down from the ethers, like really literally. That's what I think that is. That's like a union and like, you know, I don't know, the devil card. There is like a, they do have like a deep, deep, deep attraction for you. Let's get some archetype cards and see what, what is this person's current feelings for you? The child wounded awakens compassion, desire to serve other wounded children, opens the learning path to forgiveness. So they're having to confront a lot of things right now. And this is like scary for them. So if you really, really care for this person, I would send them loving energy right now. Because see, shadow attributes, blames, all dysfunctional relationships on childhood wounds, resists moving on through forgiveness. So they're kind of like recognizing how they... We're blaming other people, but maybe they were also to blame. Self-awareness. How does this person feel about you? Child orphan. Whoa. Lots of inner child stuff going on. Indep independence based on learning to go out it alone, conquering the fear of surviving. Feelings of abandonment that stifle maturation, seeking inappropriate surrogate families. So I feel like this person feels that you they feel abandoned by you or they feel like they were abandoned by you, but this is like a trigger of theirs and they're having to heal this trigger. And you might watch this and be like, they abandoned me. Um, but this is how they, they view it. There's something that I feel like they felt abandoned and now they're starting to realize like, okay, well maybe I brought that upon myself. How does this person view you right now? The damsel. Understanding the nature of healthy romance inspires you to rely on yourself. They might also be thinking like, I need to be this strong person for this person. Like they might be turning it into like a hero situation and they're definitely making about money too. Midas Miser, entrepreneurial or creative ability to turn anything into gold, delight in sharing life's riches. So there's definitely something that I feel like this person wants to create with you and share with you. What do they want to create and share with you? Money. We have the warrior, strength, skill, discipline, and toughness of will, heroism, stoicism, and self-sacrifice in conquering the eagle. E e ego. Maybe an eagle is significant. Um, what does this person want to create and share with you? Storyteller. Experiences. They want to, they're pushing through, they're overcoming their ego because at the end of the day what they want more than anything is to be with you but because of like their ego and their wounding it's blocking them and so they're pushing through they're fighting through that and making the decision that like i'm gonna get through this i'm gonna let go of this so that i can just be with this person because i just want to be with this person so that's kind of what's pushing them let's see how does your person currently feel about you oh archway new opportunities possibilities and paths opening up so they feel like there is some kind of path there is some kind of opportunity or they're having faith in that there will be um towards this this happening what does this person currently feel about you teapot deep friendship with someone of the same sex there could be somebody that they're talking about you too what are they talking about? The ram, a stubborn, aggressive person, weeping willow, family sorrow, the bear, danger, especially in money matters. This could be somebody that's in their family that might be calling them out on like, well, you're really stubborn, things like that. Um, the bear. This is somebody that they're like a little bit afraid of too. Somebody that they're afraid of and this person is... Um, or they're like, this person's not afraid to stand up to your person and your person's a little stubborn and aggressive. So they might be saying something. What are they saying? Parrot. Someone will gossip about all your secrets and goldfish. Increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. Um, 
This person also has somebody around them. I'm telling you, this has to do with the superficialness, man, dealings or relationship with a man. So there's a couple things. There's somebody in their family that they're, or family, or somebody that they're talking to that like, they're, they're trying to communicate something that's on their mind. And like, I feel like then there's somebody, this could be the same person or there's somebody else around them who like the minute that they do well, this person will turn on them and like gossip about them. And there's just like this, like that's what I picked up earlier. It's like, there's this superficialness and it's like, if I'm doing bad, you're happy. But if I'm doing good, then you're like not happy for me. And there's like this weird energy around them that I think they're starting to wake up to. And they're like, yeah, I'm not, like, I don't trust you. Everything I say to you, you're just repeating. Or there might, this might have happened. And they're kind of like, wait a second. Why would you go and tell people that I said that? Like, I thought, like, I thought I had your confidence. Like, I thought, you know, we were. So I feel like this is like where they're kind of realizing that maybe they're not in the best environment. Um, what is... What is this person's current feelings for you? Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. The chemistry is like they're very attracted and drawn to you. And I think that they're like, it's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So I feel like they're working through some kind of healing stuff that like, is helping them know that it's safe. But I think it's because they're doing this internal work. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So like I said, they go into this place and they that's where they see you. But then it comes triggering, but they're keeping going back to it because they want to be there, even though like they have to deal with some kind of triggering. Forgiving and learning. So see, they're healing a lot and give your relationship a chance. I do feel like this person, if you're not in contact, they're going to come back around. They're going to come back around and they're going to be, have healed and also be in like a different place with new understanding. Let's see. Heart to heart messages. What's happening? Or what does this person want to communicate to you? I have your picture on my phone and I look at it all the time. So yeah, they might be like meditating on your photo. There's telepathy between our hearts. So they feel like they're communicating with you. What does this person, what is this person going to say to you? What is this person going to communicate to you? I miss you. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. What is this person? Oh, you feel like home. So yeah, it's like something might be happening in their family that they're, or friends that they're realizing like, you know what, family, you can create your own family. I wish we could be together right now. I wish I could be a better me for you. So I do feel like this person's do 